Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting held remotely and Secretary General Dr. Yasser al Nasser made the following statement. The cabinet discussed the ongoing national efforts aimed at combating the spread of the coronavirus led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. The cabinet praised the commitment of the kingdom's citizens and residents to following all the health guidelines issued by the National Medical Task Force for combating the coronavirus, which has had a tangible and positive impact on reducing infection rates. The cabinet further praised the efforts made by frontline medical workers, noting that their efforts have been recognized internationally by organizations such as the World Health Organization. The cabinet stressed the importance for all to continue to follow all health measures and guidelines issued in order to ensure eradication of the virus. On the occasion of the Bahraini Doctors' Day, the cabinet praised the role of Bahraini doctors and medical staff and their noble contributions to the kingdom, expressing their appreciation for the humanitarian sacrifices and risks made to safeguard the health of the community. The cabinet condemned the terrorist attack that occurred in Vienna in the Republic of Austria, which resulted in the death and injury of a number of people. The cabinet expressed its sincere condolences to the families of the victims, wishing a speedy recovery to all those injured. The cabinet highlighted Bahraini's support to the Republic of Austria in its efforts to combat terrorism, noting the importance of concerted efforts by the international community to eliminate terrorism, violence and combat extremist organizations. The cabinet approved the exclusion of players, coaches and members of the technical, administrative, medical and arbitration teams of private bodies working in the field of youth and sports from the scope of application of the provisions of the labor law in the private sector as well as their exclusion from the scope of provisions of the social insurance law as their clubs pay the insurance contributions for these groups. The cabinet approved the restructuring of the Higher Coordination Committee for Human Rights, headed by the Minister of Foreign Affairs and the membership of 18 representatives from across the Kingdom's governorate agencies, provided that representatives in the committee are not below the rank of Assistant Undersecretary. The cabinet approved an MOU between the Government of Bahrain and the Government of Israel regarding air services and authorized the concerned minister to sign it. The cabinet approved the referral of the extension of the VAT exemption for the Bahrain Marina Development Company owned by the Social Insurance Organization to the Legislation and Legal Opinion Commission in order to settle the dispute over the interpretation of some legal aspects related to this exemption. The cabinet approved a proposal submitted by the Council of Representatives to reinforce control over telecommunication companies that provide citizens with internet services. The cabinet further approved two proposals which had already been fulfilled at the time of the representation related to official working hours and the holding of evening prayers and taraweeh prayers in the main mosque in Ramadan due to the global spread of COVID-19. The cabinet also agreed on the government response to a proposal to calculate the amount of cellular data and consumed communication minutes. In the items of ministerial reports, the cabinet noted the outcomes of the meeting of the Health Ministers Committee and the General Conference of the Council of Health Ministers of the GCC States through a report submitted by the Minister of Health as well as the outcomes of the meeting of the Tourism Ministers in GCC countries for the Arab states of the Gulf through a report submitted by the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa emailed all public sector employees and noted that the launch of the third edition of the government's innovation competition Fikra corresponds with the challenges presented by the global spread of the coronavirus which has opened new possibilities across various sec sectors globally. His Royal Highness stressed the value of identifying areas of development and improvement across government work streams amidst these unprecedented circumstances and the importance of transforming challenges into success stories, projects and pioneering initiatives that contribute to competitiveness, optimal performance and sustainability. The Speaker of the Representative Council, Fazia Zain and met remotely with the Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Women, Halil Ansari. Zain al affirmed the importance of bolstering cooperation between the Representative's Council and the SCW to support Bahraini women during the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. She also praised the role and contributions of the SCW led by wife of His Majesty the King, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, in supporting women and through her distinguished national efforts to limit the repercussions of COVID 19 within the Bahrain national team in addition to achieving family stability and providing community support. Zainal also confirmed the Council's keenness on adopting the national plans and programs suggested by the SCW through effective partnership and continuous cooperation and coordination. 
Al Ansari affirmed that the royal directives to support women has bolstered the kingdom's status as a state that empowers women in all fields, adding that the SCW is working on plans and programs inspired by the royal directives to enable women to become equal partners in building the society. Lansari noted that the efforts of the Representatives Council have contributed to enriching the legislations concerning the Bahraini family and Bahraini women. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Bar Rashid Al Zayani, participated remotely in the joint ministerial meeting between the GCC and the People's Republic of China. The meeting was chaired by the UAE's Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and China's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Wang Yi, with the participation of the Secretary General of the GCC, Dr. Nayef Al Hajraf. The Gulf and Chinese foreign ministers expressed condolences to the demise of the late Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jawar Al Sabah, hailing his prominent role in bolstering the march of joint Gulf action and further strengthening the deep rooted relations between the GCC member states and China, as well as the world's countries. Dr. Zayani delivered a speech in which he expressed thanks and appreciation to the Chinese minister for his keen interest in bolstering cooperation and further developing the distinguished Gulf Chinese relations at all levels in light of the friendly country's leading regional and international strategic role. He also expressed the Kingdom's appreciation of China's positive stances towards Arab causes and its keenness on achieving international peace and security based on mutual respect and non-interference in the internal affairs of sovereign countries, as well as its welcoming of the signing of the Abraham Accord between the UAE, Bahrain, the State of Israel and the US last September. Zayani expressed hope that this step will lead towards comprehensive peace in the region by supporting direct negotiations between the Palestinians and the Israelis to achieve the two-state solution. He reiterated the kingdom's unwavering stance in support of a unified China with sovereignty over all its territories, as well as support for the Belt and Road Initiative. He affirmed the importance of further developing Gulf-Chinese relations at all levels, praising China's immense efforts in combating the coronavirus and the advanced level of its vaccine, as well as the deep-rooted constructive cooperation between the Gulf and China in this field to protect the safety and health of the people and mitigate the repercussions of the virus. He added that the Kingdom has launched an integrated system of precautionary and preventive measures to maintain the health and safety of the community. Dr. Zayani expressed the Kingdom's appreciation aspirations to further strengthen Gulf Chinese relations and exchange opinions on coordinate stances towards regional and international causes of mutual interest. The parties discussed during the meeting the latest regional and international developments and means of overcoming the challenges that face the world. Bahrain schools are continuing efforts to organize the return of students to schools by implementing the precautionary measures by trained cadres. The schools also formed an emergency team as well as a supervision team that follow on the students' arrival until they leave the school. A follow-up team was also formed to follow up on online classes and classes for students with special needs as well as communicate with parents. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 2,127 with 237 recoveries and 192 registered new cases. 86 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 103 are contacts of active cases and 3 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to adhere to the rules, follow instructions and avoid public places when possible.